Okay guys, so I haven't made a video in a very long time, but that's because I've been away at university, and now this is my reading week, so I thought that I would catch up and start a new series. I've also decided to put some time aside while I'm at university and try and put out some videos, just because I wanted to do some, but I haven't had time, so I'm going to work harder to find time. Uh, this new series is going to be sort of based off my programming class that I'm taking, we're learning how to code in C using code blocks. So I thought that I would make a video series of me showing you guys how to code in C as I'm learning it. So we'll sort of be learning together. And I thought that'd be pretty fun. So what we're gonna start off to do in this episode is download code blocks and we'll get it all set up so that next time we can just start coding right away. So what we're gonna do Open your browser and go to Google. You're going to type in code blocks and go to the website. There's two download links, one at the top and one at the left. Doesn't matter. Go to the same place. And you want to go to download the binary release. So right here. And once you're here, there are four files because um, I'm doing this for Windows. So the one we want to download is this code blocks 12 dash or 12.11 main w setup and that's because the compiler comes with the installation which is great that saves us the trouble is trouble of going to a different website and trying to integrate a compiler into code blocks this just does it in one go and it's awesome so we're going to go to the source forage download because that's the one that i always go to i don't know why and you'll see it's counting down to start the download up at top. And then when it's ready to go, you'll see it download at the bottom here. Uh, I'm going to fast forward the download process. So I'll see you guys when this is done. Hold on now, I'm joking. Give me a second to collect myself. Okay, guys. So as you can see, the download is now finished. And we can go ahead and open it. So yes, it's safe. And this is the download starting. You're gonna hit next, agree. And then when you get to this stage, you wanna make sure that all of these are checked because the last one is the compiler that we're going to use with code blocks. So you definitely wanna make sure you have that installed. If they're all checked, you hit next. And then I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop called code blocks and then that's where I'm going to install everything too and another reason why I'm doing this install video is because sometimes when you install code blocks and you run it for the first time you'll get a bunch of errors saying that it can't find the compiler uh, so it's pretty easy to fix, but the first time when I installed it, it took me a while to figure it out. And I'll walk you guys through it now. So when it's done, you want to run it. And when it loads, you'll either get a bunch of errors, or in my case, uh, sometimes there's a message in the bottom right saying that it can't find the compiler. In this case, I think it installed correctly. But for you, in case it didn't, what you need to do is go to Settings, Compiler, and you'll see it has this GNU GCC compiler selected. That's great. Uh, you just want to go over to Reset Defaults, click OK. Yes, you're very sure. Click OK, and it'll say Auto Detected Installation Path. That's perfect. That's what you want. You click OK, OK again, and you should be good to go. So now, just to test that everything works, we're going to create an empty file really fast. We're going to save it because in order to run the program, you need to have saved the file. Uh, I'm going to create a new folder called Projects. And that's where I'm going to save everything. And we'll call it test.c. Um, we're going to, or I'm going to go over what all this stuff means next time 
but uh, this is just to make sure that our compiler is working the way we want it to. Um, we're just going to do a simple printf statement, uh, hello world. And in case you guys are typing this and you don't see the words the way I do, like if you have red lines underneath include, you want to go to edit, highlight mode, and make sure you have C and C++ selected, because that way it'll recognize the language that you're coding in and give you um, errors where there should be errors instead of thinking it's another language. So this looks pretty good, and we're going to click uh, build and run and you'll see it pops up in the command prompt window and it'll say hello world so perfect that's what we want that's what uh, we wanted our compiler works code block works and i'll see you guys next time when we actually start coding all right thanks